Yo guys, welcome back to Brandon PDCGO of All Wings Guys video. Today guys, we're going to be looking at what could possibly be the ultimate wall in standard right now. And that is going to be my Glaceon VMAX Ice Q deck. Basically playing very similarly to Decidueye Obstagoon from back in the day. Of course, Glaceon's ability, um, Crystal Veil, makes it immune to all of your opponent's VMAX Pokemon. Now, of course, they'll still use Vs to attack you. Sometimes they don't do a lot of damage. The nice thing is, though, is we have Ice Q here for those all basic decks or just decks that use a heavy count of basic Pokemon. Or if they try to attack you with a basic, we have Ice Q with Block Face, which does 70 damage. And then during your next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from basic Pokemon. The nice thing about Ice Q is it basically gives you a great matchup versus the Zacian deck. Zacian is all over the ladder right now. Trust me, I play against a lot of Zacian when I play this game. And Ice Q basically auto wins the matchup unless they're using Zacian V Union. But some people aren't playing Zacian V Union because it's not very good and it's also very expensive right now. So Ice Q can just auto win Zacian, which is otherwise a bad matchup. Also, if you're just playing against a very basic heavy deck, you just have Ice Q to like give you that free win and the idea and of course we can power everything up with frost moth which is really cool so for freaking the video course show to the sponsor car kevin tcg as always guys if you're ever looking for any pdc joe pack codes get them over at car cavern car cavern sells codes online for the cheapest so if you guys are ever looking to pick up any set codes so like evolving skies codes or chilling rain or battle styles shining fate sword and shield base set or maybe you're going to be looking to pick up celebrations if card cavern has any in stock when they drop on friday get them over at card cavern if you get any codes at card cavern at the checkout use my discount code code ldf for a five percent discount on your order help help the channel help yourself out and up our card cavern so yeah shout out to card cavern check them out use code ldf to get any codes check out the articles i posted over there while you're at it too we appreciate it they also sell singles if you're looking to pick up singles also so yeah, this is my Glaceon wall list i'm playing i am playing a couple snorlax i'm not playing the Inteleon engine i'm also not playing any crobats so the big reason why is one crowbat is very bad to play in a glaceon deck because it's a free two prizes for your opponent pretty much to get around glaceon the italian engine there's just not enough room to fit it in the deck what there is enough room for is four lucky ice pops really cool i'm trying this out with glaceon and in this deck since we're using two pokemon that try to wall the opponent um sometimes they have ways to get around them there's uh, most decks will have ways to damage glaceon and ice q or sometimes just glaceon if you're just using glaceon we can ice pop and heal our Galician, which heals 20 damage from your active. If you heal any damage in this way, you flip a coin of head, put this ice pop back into your hand instead of the discard pile, which is very hilarious because you could literally get like four heads in a row and heal 80 damage, which is insane. And it is a way to heal Glaceon and keep it alive a lot longer. Same thing with Ice Q. Now, Ice Q does attack and uh, does 70 damage, which is not bad. It is worse than Obstruct. Obstruct did 90 damage block face to 70 that's fine though because if you're playing against a deck that just can't stop ice cube it's fine of course we're gonna have to power them up with frost moths ice dance as often as you like attach a water energy from a hand to one of your bench water pokemon so that's how we're gonna power up our attackers i am playing snorlax to set up with this is our setup card to draw cards i'm also playing um for research for marnie and azinius resolve for draw we got two boss in the deck and we got two balloons Snow Leaf Batch, give glacian fear tree you could also just play three balloons over the snow leaf badge but this is good because some decks will attack you when they're playing metal pokemon you might as well play the snow leaf badge um then we got one capture energy and then 10 at basic waters alongside two buckets we are going to play four copies of training court because it's very important because of path of the peak which is one of the ways glaceon gets countered in this meta that's why glaceon doesn't see a lot of plays because path but training court does allow you to get rid of the stadium it's also just a very good card with glaceon and ice q and frost moth in general um, so yeah, maybe Glaceon Ice Q is the way to play Glaceon. Who knows? Let's try it out and hopefully win some games. We might get some fast games. We might see some quick concedes because a lot of the time the opponent has no way to damage you. They just move on. All right, here we go. Trying out Glaceon here with SQ, the hero. We do win the coin flip here. So we are going to go first. And oh, wow. We start with all th <laughs> we start with three Glaceon. Okay, wow. Well, I'm not going to bench both of them. We don't even know what we're playing against just yet. Uh, we can get to Snom here. Um... Oh. Or we draw snom looks like we're playing in shadow rider from the looks of it now i am gonna bench double glaceon just in case ass i guess i mean i guess that start was okay uh no energy was unfortunate would have liked to see an energy there but we are gonna be able to get the v max in play and we can kind of go from there again i don't know yeah definitely it is shadow rider they do have cresselia which can attack me this is why we can maybe pop off. If we draw well enough here, we can maybe draw into a turn one max, max Icicle, which would be very, very good. 
Uh, we might get some quick games in this video today because Galician can do that sometimes when your opponent has no way to stop you. They just concede. Same thing with SQ. You'll see. You will see uh, what this deck's all about. There's a research of their own. They do this SP on VMAX. Eh, it's not really a threat for us. It's mainly just dealing with the Shadow Riders. They're going to be interesting. They got a pretty solid start here. Double Shadow Rider, the Cresselia. The Cresselia is definitely a threat for us because they can attack us. Now... I could bench the other Glaceon. Oh, they're going to build up Espeon. So, yeah, we definitely need to attack then. They're going to build up this thing. We can also use SQ here, too. We have four Lucky Ice Pops. Three ways to move the active, and we have 11 energy in total, plus two buckets. Those aren't bad odds. Uh, I think I'm going to bench... Do we bench extra Glaceon? I think we do. There's no reason not to. I mean, I don't want to have too many Pokemon in play, but I think it's fine to bench it. And, oh, yeah, rip. <laughs> we don't get the attack off. We unfortunately do with the uh, energy and switch here. That sucks. That was a bad research. I don't know. I don't really want to... I, I guess SQ can get discarded. We don't really need SQ. Like, even if I go block face on the Espeon and the Cresselia, which can't damage my SQ... They're just going to use Shadow Rider anyway. So there's no real reason to keep SQ around, I guess. So it makes me feel a bit better about that. That was a pretty bad whip, though. I'm glad I did bench the Glaceon because we're going to need the other Glaceon here because we did whiff the energy. Oh, they're going to evolve into the Espeon VMAX. Never mind. They're going to Marnie me. We do lose the research and the Ice Pop. <laughs> Not my Ice Pop, bro. What would I do without it? As long as we don't drop poorly here, this shouldn't be too bad. Um. All right, nice. We got the attack. We have Boss, too. I think we just want to kill the Cresselia. My opponent, unless they have Path in the deck, they have no way to stop my Glaceon, I don't think. So that'll be pretty nice. We'll see where this takes us. I didn't get a draw supporter, though, off that Marnie. Because we don't play any draw in the deck, so that's a bit of an issue. But they are putting Pokemon in play that are not going to survive from the Wrath of Glaceon. None of these Pokemon can damage me outside of Cresselia. But we're just going to boss Cresselia. They could play, like, Necrozma V or something. They could play a path, or they could play a Phoebe. We'll just be a little careful. I, we got to play like they don't have one, though. I think it's going to have to be the play. It's just play they don't have one. Oh, they are going to go for Max Geist. Is that KO me? I'm not even going to bother doing the math. I'm pretty sure it's not. It's like 100. Yeah, I think they have a KO here. Yep. I think it's just enough. So, that's fine. I mean, we need another V Max down so they don't boss KO this, so, but we'll see. We just got to be careful while we bench. See if we top deck here. Hmm. Not what I'm looking for. We need to find another... Uh, we need a supporter and we need some heals. We're going to have to boss this. We can... don't really want to lose my Snom. We might not be able to bench it. I'm just going to quick... I don't think we're ever going to bench Snom because it just doesn't seem like we're going to get much value out of it. Because then they can just go boss boss. And we'll just hit something for 30... I don't think it really matters. I guess we'll hit the other Glaceon. I don't think they play... Like, we're just, we have to play that they don't have a way to damage me, right? So we're just going to hit their Shadow Rider. We get another Training Court. Unfortunately, not a draw supporter. So we are kind of stuck right now until we get a supporter. But my opponent could have another boss here. And then we have to rely on our solo Glaceon to win us the game. Which, assuming we can draw into, you know, Lucky Ice Pop and stuff, that shouldn't be too hard to do. As long as we draw well here, we shouldn't have to worry about that. They play two Espeon Vs. Oh, no. That is annoying. They actually don't promote the uh, Espeon VMAX, so they might not be able to go into it this turn. This is why we need to find healing cards, so this thing isn't really a problem for us. We need to get another Glaceon established soon. We need healing cards. We need to establish another Glaceon. And I think we'll be okay. Maybe they'll Marnie me again. We could go into Snorlax, but, like, it's so risky. It's risky to go Snorlax here because it's Gourmandize. Like, if they knock out Snorlax, they should go Frost, Moth, and Glaceon. If I can get another Glaceon VMAX, I can go Snorlax, however, because it's not as big of a problem. So if I can draw into a Glaceon VMAX, we're not going to draw a supporter. Oh, they're going to boss. Never mind. Now we just have one Glaceon VMAX to work with. So... We can't mention anything else now or else we just lose to another double boss's order. We just have to rely on this one Glaceon. There we go. We drew a Marnie. We have been gifted a draw supporter. See what we get here. 
Oh, there's the VMAX. We were very close to finding it, actually. One turn away. They didn't boss me there. I would have had the VMAX. And then we just... Doesn't matter if I lose Frostmoth or not. So we'll just Max Icicle. Might as well hit this thing for 30. I don't think it matters if we put the damage. Maybe they don't go into it. I don't know. We just need to find our Ice Pops and stuff. We can start healing Glaceon. Again, one Glaceon can carry us here. Maybe I should have hit this for 30 because I wouldn't mind. We can boss KO this next turn. Like if we hit, we do a bit more damage, we can knock it out. So maybe if I hit this for 30, we could have KO'd it with a boss. I think we always just want to take out the threats though. Like I'm not really scared about this thing because this thing barely does any damage. The Espeon does 120, which is not a lot, but that's still enough to put some pressure on me. They actually just lost a uh, Cresselia and a Rod, which is two ways they can get back their attackers, which is really good. If they had like more, if they had Cresselia, Rod, and this Espeon, I don't know, it'd be really hard to win this. I don't know if one Glaceon can really solo us, even with the healing cards. Again, we are praying they don't... If they have a way to kill my Glaceon, we are just going to lose the game. I don't know if Shadow Rider plays Path anymore or Phoebe. Most of the lists don't. Most of them just kind of play it straightforward. So I'm hoping they don't have it. Looks like they don't. They're just going to hit me here. Which is fine. We are going to take a decent chunk of damage. But they are low on attackers. And we're just going to Marnie. Probably could have actually Frost Mons. We're going to Marnie. We, mar Ugh, we don't get any ice pops, though. No ice pops kind of sucks. That's a little awkward. Okay, now it's looking a bit more scarier. We can research next turn, though, and try to find the ice pop. So, I mean, they're down two Cresselia, two Espeon Vs. That should be the rest of their attackers. And they have Astro Barrage. We should probably start putting more damage on this thing so I can KO it. Okay. So they have another way to do 120 damage we lose unless we find a lucky ice popper too, which currently we aren't looking at. So it'd be bad. All right, come on, research. We need some heals here. We get a lucky ice pop. We get two ice pops, which is good. Okay, here we go. Now we can start the ball. No, we don't. We get a tails right away. Can we get at least a couple heads here? Bro. Oh my God. If we got one head, we would have been able to survive another attack. Uh-oh. So if they have a way to attack me again, we are going to lose. Our lucky ice pops didn't come in clutch. We needed... One head's here to survive an attack from another Espeon. Oh my gosh, I think we are going to lose it. They have another way to attack me here. They're down two Espeons and two Cresselias and a Rod. What are the chances they have a way to damage me? They can go with the Shadow Rider here, but we did hit it. So that if they go into it, we can kill with Max Icicle. We can still keep digging. We're close to winning. Actually, we are one boss off of winning, though, to be fair. If they don't win this turn, <clears throat> we actually have game here. We can kill their Shadow Rider. Okay, Underworld Door. That's good. Now, won't put the energy on the uh, attacker. That's fine. Frostmoth has done its job. Do they have anything? Okay. So, we've, if we just draw boss's order, we have game. If we just flat out draw the boss here, we will win the game here. Um, We'll see. Nope. That's fine. You can just research. Oh, look at that capacious bucket, bro. Look at that, bro. I love how they changed the artwork on that. So we have one ice pop left. We have one boss in the deck. All right, well, here we go. I'm gonna research. We just need, we probably want to find an ice pop. We don't get it, yikes. I mean, ice pop doesn't want to come to my hand today. We got boss though for next turn. We have game in hand. The only way they can win is they play Echoing Horn or boss so they have another way to attack me. They have it, they have it. Not much I can do about that. I don't think it matters where I put this 30 damage. We'll hit the other Shadow Rider, sure. Why not? Just in case. Maybe they play a big charm. I don't know. So if they don't Marnie me here, we win the game. Um, We'll see. Oh, there's a Sonya. Do they have another way to attack me, or are they out of attackers? Okay, they just grab energy. That's fine. That's not basics. They can do Shadow... They can, they can Shadow Miss me, right? They can do 50 damage, which will put me at 60 HP remaining. They still can't... I mean, at that point, they, they're they going to deck out too, actually. If they do any more Underworld Doors, they're decking themselves out, which I don't think it matters anymore. This is a very intense match. Um, but we'll see if we can clutch it up. See, another Underworld Door. Well, if they don't have a Rod, we just flat out win now. If they have no way to put cards back in their deck, we just win. That's game. Glaceon beat Shadow Rider with Espeon VMAX in a very 
honestly a pretty close game. I mean, damn, we if if we had at least two Glaceon VMAXs in play, I think we would have been perfectly fine. But having to use just one Glaceon and that's just hard to do. But thankfully, we pulled through and won. Actually, you know what? They probably could have beat me. Hey, look at that. 375 coins. Not that it matters anymore because of TCG Live. Sad. You don't even hype to see that anymore. But hey, you know what? It fuels, fuels the pack of new video. But uh, if they hadn't evolved the other Espeon VMAX, honestly, I think they could have won. Had they not evolved the other Espeon there. All right, here we go. Let's try Glaceon again here with Ice Q. We've won the coin flip, which is good. Now, even if we don't use Ice Q, I will be showing you guys a pretty cool stream match I got showing off just how powerful Ice Q really is. And we actually get a pretty fair starting hand here. Um, we can capture energy, quick ball, get Snom. Throw the Gossifler. Could be Cherim. Okay, let's capture energy for Snom. We have one Ice Q in the deck. We might actually need the Ice Q, so let's grab it. Might be a bit early to grab it, but I think it's fine. We'll get the Ice Q down. If they're playing Reggie Drago Cherim, Ice Q is going to be really good here. They play a Water Energy. Okay. Um. No idea what this is. B. Oh, it's Smeargle. Oh, okay. I appreciate the effort, you know. But yeah, if we can go, if we can get the Ice Q attacking here, I mean, I don't think we can lose because I don't know if they have a way to damage me. Uh, the only way they could do it is to literally like body slam me with Snorlax, which I don't think will work for my opponent. So that could be the play. So we'll research and we just got to find three energy in a balloon, which probably won't happen yet. It's asking for a lot. Hmm. We can go into Snorlax, which I think is fine. I'm going to Gormandize. We also didn't get a support off that, so I think it's correct to Gormandize here. So we're going to retreat into Snorlax. We're going to burn this. We're going to Training Court. Very unlikely Frostmoth dies here, so I'm not going to bench Snom. I don't want to bench too many Pokemon, because then we get bodied by Boss's Order Spam. But I don't even know if they play many Boss. I'm just not going to risk it. Okay, we still didn't draw much off of that Snorlax. That was like, yeah, that's still a pretty weak Gormandize. Well, we are down three supporters, so I'm not surprised, but we'll see. Maybe we'll get Marnied, which would be pretty good. Because they're probably going to go with their own Snorlax, I'm imagining, right? They probably want to go with their own Gormandize. Now, I guess they do have the ability to attack me with Eldegoss. Uh, they probably at least play one Grass. So I guess they can use Eldegoss to attack me. But it does 30 damage, and then we just heal it. Yeah, they have Cotton Guard. Which, I guess, it's not very good. It doesn't do a lot of damage. Okay, this is a little bad, though. We actually didn't... We can't do block face, which we need to do. Still can't do. We also prize one of our ice cues, which isn't helping our case very much at all. I'm going to burn a bunch of cards here. Bench this. Gorman dies. I don't think they play many boss. I guess it's fine to bench that. All right, come on. We need something good. There we go. We got some energy... Now we just hope they don't boss my Ice Q, and if they do, we can go Glaceon, and then, I guess, pray we find the other Ice Q off the prizes. We gotta hope they don't have a knockout. They do not. They have a Bird Keeper. Unless they play Pokemon Catcher, they aren't gonna kill my Ice Q. And then we can use Ice Q here and body them. We could go after the Eldegoss here with Ice Q. Let's see what they do with their energy. They could build up Snorlax, but again, it's not very... Uh, yeah, Snorlax isn't very good. Uh, they can attack with Eldegoss, which... Hmm. I mean, it's doing 30 damage. We're doing, what? 40 damage? We're doing more damage. We two-shot them. They don't three... Yeah, we have Ice Pop. Okay. I'm not really scared about the Ice Q. Yeah. They will KO me. It was all gravy, baby. We can go here. We can draw into the best card on the planet, which is Ice Pop. Yeah, we can... We should still build up Glaceon. Just no reason not to. We can definitely... Do we Marnie them? I honestly don't even see a reason to Marnie here. I'll, I'm actually... F I mean, their hand's so big, but like... No, we'll Marnie them. They could have a boss. I think it's better. I was like, we don't need to Marnie them because they're going to be able to get the energy anyways of Eldegoss. But yeah, and I didn't also want to get a bad hand, which unfortunately we didn't draw very well on that Marnie. That's why I also didn't want to play Marnie. I didn't want to give myself a bad hand. So... That was fine with holding it. We had both Boss's Order and Ice Pop, so... I maybe should have held the hand, but... I mean, their hand was so big, there was no reason not to Marnie. Because they could have bossed my Glaceon and KO'd it. 
So we can't, so assuming they have two boss, they can kill my Glaceon V. They can knock out a Frostmoth, which is three prizes. They can go down to two prizes for me. That's not too bad. Um, we don't ever use Glaceon V Max, I don't think. Well, we could. I mean, depending on how many boss they... Oh, I marnied them into the boss. Right. Pff, nah, I shouldn't have marnied them. They actually go after Frostmoth, though, and they don't chase my Glaceon, which is very interesting. We'll see what other tricks they have in their deck. Do they even have a knockout? They do. Yeah, I think that's just a KO. Okay. That's fine. I don't mind that. I mean, we don't really need Moth anymore anyways. Do we draw? Level Ball. That can thin out the deck. Shuffle it anyways. I mean, we have four supporters. We did prize... We didn't prize any draw supporters. No, we prized one Marnie. We prized an Ice Pop. I, would, I do need to find Ice Pop, though. To Either we find Ice Pop or the, our second Ice Cube here. That's what I'm looking for. Balloon is not very good. Now, I mean, we just need to find stuff. I mean, we can't live off Ice Cube forever. See, that's why I, I regret doing Marnie now. Oh, they found a second boss's order. Okay, wow. They actually found their second boss. I got to imagine they play two. I don't think they play three. I don't know if they do. Oh, there they go. They're building up Snorlax. Yeah, that's bad. They have Body Slam. This is starting to heat up a little bit. This is why maybe we should use Glaceon, but they're going to go after it. Do they have a KO? They do have... Oh, my God. I'm actually getting destroyed right now. I'm not going to lie. If only I held that hand, we could have done more damage. See, I shouldn't have Marnie them. I knew I shouldn't have because I know their hand was massive, but it's backfiring because now I'm dead drawing. Not only that, I have no Ice Pops to try to heal my Ice Q and keep it alive, which is really, really bad. If they get one Paralysis Heads in my Ice Q, we're screwed because we have no Moth. We can't go scoop them that bot. Moth, which is the other option. Oh, no. I actually think we're going to lose, not going to lie. We are just not drawing very well, and we're getting absolutely destroyed right now by this Smirgle deck. This is kind of bad. Maybe I should have evolved there. I mean, maybe they don't play three boss. I could have went Snom. There's Ice Pop. I mean, that's a start, I guess. It's not enough, I don't think, to carry me here. If we were taking a prize this turn, I'd feel a bit better. This is bad, actually. We honestly could lose. Now we're out of Glaceon altogether. I think we're going to lose. I don't know. It's not looking good. If they get one Paralysis Hedge here, the game's just over because they KO my Ice Q. I guess I could scoop them at it and then hope they're not a boss, but without Frostmoth, we can't rebuild it back up anyways. They got a Marnie, too. Rip. See, maybe we should play, like, Bird Keeper. I actually was considering Pokemon Center Lady in this deck. Now I regret. Okay, we got research still. We still have a supporter. But again, without Frostmoth, we just, yeah, we prized a lot of bad cards. We prized, we prized the other Ice Q and the Frostmoth. If we had two Ice Qs here, I think we'd be fine. Hold on. They just uh, attached another twin to the other Smeargle, which I gotta feel like is a misplay because now they can't do Body Slam. I think their win condition has to be to Body Slam me. That it does open the door a little bit, but not by much, though. Not by much. If I find a boss's order, I'm going to boss their Snorlax and try to get damage on it. The two-shot it. They probably play a second Snorlax, though. They also have Rod. They're going to give me a prize? Do they have another Eldegoss? This is good. If they give me a prize, we can get... We can get the other Ice Q off the prizes or Frostmoth. We can hold the hand, too. Because we have Scuba Net, so if we do get it, we can still net and bucket. Alright, come on. We need Ice Q or Frostmoth. We got Frostmoth. Okay. So if they go... If they don't Marnie me here, which they could do, they could still Marnie me. If they don't Marnie me, we are going to be able to go with the Scoop Up Net on the Ice Q, Frostmoth, rebuild it back up in a turn, and attack them. And we just got to hope they don't get another Body Slam head. I mean, it comes down to coin flips, pretty much. They concede, though... Okay, wow. I... I'll take it. I didn't expect to win that game because, I mean, the Body Slam is really bad. But my opponent scooped. I mean, they could have won Body Slam. If they ever just get one Body Slam hedge, they can usually just win. But hey, I'll take it, bro. Okay, here we go. And we've lost a coin flip. We're up against a Psychic deck. It might be another Shadow Rider Calyrex deck. But they're letting me go first. They're maybe playing Cresselia. Okay. Not a bad start. We got the Snow Leaf badge, which is good. So we can move our Glaceon here. We'll see what we're playing against. Um, it's most likely Shadow Rider with Cresselia. 
in DDV. All right, I have no clue what this is. So we're going to get Snom here. I'm going to keep the Marnie around just in case. I don't think they play Path. So I think we can just play that down and Pass. Because if they play Training Core themselves, now they have dead stadiums in their hand. And I don't have dead stadiums. I have one left, so that makes any sense. So I think I'll play the Training Court first. We might just go Gourmet and Dice next turn. My opponent just plays a Doctor. Just draw two cards. Sure. Gardevoir. Okay, so if we just use Glacier on VMAX, we should be fine. The NDDVs are a little scary, though, but we can still 2 a KO them. It's not that big of a deal. And we just stop Gardevoir from damaging me. I guess they're playing some Gardevoir VMAX deck. They boo Shake into the VMAX. How are they going to accelerate energy, though, is my question. So let's see what we draw. There's Ice Q. We'll take it. Grab Frost Moth. I think I'm going to go Ice Q here if I have the ability to. Save Glaceon for later. I'll research. See if we can find some stuff. We need a few energies. We do, but we don't get enough energy to attack, unfortunately. Hmm. It's fine. We can Gourmandize. I think is going to be the play. Draw some cards here with Snorlax. I like it. Gourmandais, try to get some good stuff. Let's see what we're looking at here. No energy. Um, no net either. We needed a net and energy. I'm going to have to probably Marnie next turn. Though I could play Zinnius Resolve. Because I want to keep this boss's order around. I don't know. I don't want to Marnie though. But we can go Marnie Gourmandais. I don't know. They're going to go into the Gardevoir. I'm going to start building it up. Again, Gardevoir is not threatening. Unless they pay Path. But judging from the NDDVs, they don't. Okay. We can do this. Get energy on there. I think we are just going to go Marnie here. Yeah, we're just going to go Marnie and Gourmandise. It's fine. I probably should have put the energy on the Glacier, not the Ice Cube, though, to be honest. I think we're fine, though. Oh, we're big chilling. We got net there. We actually could have went Glacier but we're in a pretty good spot right now. We can just go attach here. We can play the Capacious Bucket and get even more energy in play. Yeah, this is really good. This is really, really good. They can't even attack. Like, they didn't play a Cresselia or... Turbo patch or beat or whatever. Let me just score man dies. We just need to find the scoop up net here. We do find it and we got ice pop so we can heal. All right. I think we're in a pretty good spot right now. The only thing we're missing is honestly boss's order to attack the NDDs because the NDD does hit pretty hard. So I do have to put three energy on a Gardevoir, but they're still not building it up. They can use baby Gardevoir, but again, with ice Q, it's not the greatest option. It does do a lot of damage though. We actually can do 200 damage if they ever heal it. They get Doctor. Yes, the best draw supporter. Are they playing it because they're playing a heal deck? I don't know. Anyways, we can net the Snorlax. I want to Glaceon. And just start attacking. We'll put some damage on the DD, I guess, just in case it attacks me. Seems good to me. This is one of the issues though, with this deck over the Inteleon build. As you can see, we are three-shotting Gardevoir as opposed to two-shotting it. Especially with the healing. They had another Doctor. Well, would you look at that? They had another doctor. Okay, shopping center. That's fine. That's actually decent. We can get rid of the... We can put the air balloon back. Um, they are going to heal a lot of damage, but they are doing zero damage to me in return. So, not really worried about that. By the way, do you guys want me to do an updated Garver VMAX video? I haven't played a Garver VMAX deck in a very long time. So, I'm definitely down to do another video on Garver VMAX. Oh, now they can't even do Max Cure. Sure. Oh, there's boss. We can just KO and DD here, which I'm fine with doing. Uh, hold on. I'm going to get rid of one of the Snorlaxes. Just going to thin out the deck a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to bench Glaceon just yet. I honestly don't even know if we need to because I don't even know if they're going to count my Glaceon. We're just going to spread the damage out here. Spread the damage out a little bit. Put it the other in DD, but I don't know if I'm going to get boss or not. We're in a pretty good spot right now, though. My opponent is kind of at my mercy. <laughs> I just say the least. I mean, they can heal a lot of damage, especially with a lot of the healing they have. But... Well, where are they getting these doctors from, bro? What? Yes, the best draw supporter ever printed doctor. Are they just playing it because they're playing a heal deck, so it's like it kind of goes with the theme of healing your board? Anyways, let's see what she does here. Uh, she can attack with Gardevoir, and I guess, like, that's fine because they do 30 damage. It's not... Yeah, 30, bro, it's not even enough. And there's a boss... Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bench Glaceon. I'm gonna cap energy. Grab nothing. We are going to...
I think just attack. No, play the training court. I want to bump the stadium here because I might get Marnied. And then I think I'm just going to max Icicle. Uh, I don't really want to play the Ice Pop. Nah, we'll play Ice Pop. There's no reason not to. We can get double heads. Nope. Rip. Okay, I'm not going to play the other one. <laughs> the healing 10 damage is irrelevant. I'm going to go out to the NDD again. I mean, as long as I can't build this thing up, like, the Gardevoir is not threatening at all. So, we'll see what they do here. Yep, there's another energy. They can't fully heal this thing, I'm pretty sure. So, like, we can still KO it. Plus, we have boss. They do have another stadium, too. That's fine, though. Again, I'm trying to thin cards out of my hand that I don't want anymore. Yeah, we're just going to boss Gardevoir here. I see what they're trying to do. But, yeah, we're just going to boss KO Gardevoir VMAX. And see where that takes us. Looking pretty good, though. As long as they have no... Like, if my opponent has no way to build up the energy, like, how is my how is she going to win, right? If she can't have an energy acceleration system, there's not much she can do about it because Glaceon is just going to wall her to death. And plus with the ice pops, these Gardevoirs doing 30 damage isn't much. Honestly, Ndidi is, their, is her best chance of attacking me, you know? There's a boss. A Snom, okay. I was worried something like that would happen. Um, that's why I didn't want to overbench myself, but uh, we can just shopping center, so it's all good. We can get another uh, Glaceon here. Get that beautiful arc. The Altar Glaceon in play. My favorite Altar in the set. Bro, I even got it IRL, bro. That's how you know it's pretty. And then we'll go shop and center the balloon. Balloon. Retreat. Boss. And hit the Ndidi for 30. Seems good to me. Take our prizes. Another Glaceon not needed. I'll probably Zinnia next turn to thin out. Cards I don't care about. Like, we go, probably want to get the other Glaceon. And at this point, I think Snorlax is pretty pointless. So, we'll see. If my opponent does attack me with, like, a basic Pokemon that can do a lot of damage, we have the Ice Q. We can just retreat with a Snow Leaf Badge. Um, Yeah, that's just a wrap, pretty much. So, let's just Zinnia thin out some more cards. We don't really need any more. More energy is good. We can just keep doing the Bucket. And then we can Bucket again. Keep thinning. Ten cards left. And bucket again. We can. Uh, max Icicle, I guess. Yeah, it's fun. We'll keep damaging the DD, I guess. They're not going to heal it. We might as well damage it. Honestly, they should go into Gardevoir because my opponent, like, they can heal. She can heal a lot of the damage we do. If they can get more Indeedies in play, I mean, she can stall with Gardevoir, but again, with our bench sniping, I guess it doesn't matter, but I feel like her best chance here is to go Gardevoir. Not to mention, she has the horror. Speaking of Ice Pop, here comes an Ice Pop for my opponent. How many heads is she going to get? Oh, oh. Okay, she got one head. All right. She going to get more? Okay. Oh, okay. She's going. She's going. She's got two heads in a row now. How many more is she going to get? Ah, uh, okay. That's fine. <laughs> she still gets KO'd here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And we're just going to keep trucking away. Oh, we just win the game. My bad. I just, for some reason, I thought we had to take three prizes, not that. All right, we'll take it. There we go. Glaceon VMAX beats Gardevoir VMAX. A bit of a heel off there, I would say. Um, but anyway, so I just grabbed the video, guys, on the Glaceon deck. Actually, we have some chests to open up. One of the last times I think I will ever be opening up packs on PDCGO. Take that in. When Pokemon TCG Live comes out, I don't think chests are going to be in the game. We don't know that for certain yet, obviously. But I don't know if chests are actually returning to Pokemon TCG Live or not. There's a good chance they don't. So, we'll open them up here. Maybe we can pull, like, a good card one last time. Oh, we got a rare. There we go. We got a good card. What's it gonna be? A wall rate. Not very good. All right. We got another pack. Oh, we got nothing. Right. We'll take it. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna wrap the video, guys, with the Glacian Ice Q deck. I think you guys get the gist of how the stall deck works. Um, and I'm going to leave you guys with a stream match I got with the Glaceon deck here using Ice Q pretty well. I mean, we used it against Smeargle there, but I do have another game where I get to show up Ice Q even more. So hope you guys are going to go on to enjoy it. Yeah, Glaceon VMAX. Finally, I get to find a good way to make a video on it. And again, it's my favorite alt art in the entire set. So I'm glad I got to make a video on Glaceon um, VMAX. And I think this deck is really cool. Um, it could have some refinements made to it. I'm not sure what else you should really change about it. Let me know if you change anything about it down below. I could cut the Snow Leaf Badge for a third air balloon. because I. But, like, sometimes it is good to take away Glaceon's weakness. There are going to be scenarios where that will be more beneficial than having an air balloon on it. 
it's up to you though thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the video leave a like if you're new to the channel subscribe down below help me on the road to reaching 21,000 subs we are i think halfway to 21k now because we just hit 20.5k subs so thank you guys for that thanks for all the support on the content uh, check out car camera down below check out my twitch i stream a lot more now i'm trying to get partnered check out my twitter down below follow me on twitter check out my discord server down below and uh, enjoy the stream match i got with this deck and have a good rest of your day guys bye bye i think we just hit a zation deck so uh we might actually get to test sq i think we just auto win with sq right if they're playing zation they have no way to attack it unless they play zation v union Yeah, it went up. I know comp search did fall after the announcement, but I guess it did go up. And before they have a Duraludon or a Bronzong, if they have a way to damage SQ, that would suck. I think they do, though. Yo, insane deck, bro. Could play Cape for SQ. Nah, it's Cap. I don't like it. It's Nom. Balloon. Gourmand dies, baby. Went from 20 bid to 33 bid. Huh. Now, Quick Ball could just go back up to like 60 so you can afford mine. Why would you want it to go up the Y pod? Wouldn't you rather go down? Hey, Sinvaz, what's up? How are we doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. We're playing, trying out some decks. We played a pretty cool uh, control deck earlier that I'm probably going to get a video on soon. You think it's Ice Cube like Ice Cube? Ice Cube? Okay, Ice Cube. All right, we'll call it that. Oh, dump your spares. Oh. Oh, you said offload. My bad. I, I read that as afford. My bad, bro. I'm just all over the place. My bad. We actually, it kind of, we shouldn't have, we should have air balloon the Snorlax, bro. Snorlax actually is clogging up our, our gas right now. Gonna Marnie them. Yeah, just Marnie. Okay, another energy is good. Hey, Glaceon. I mean, Glaceon could still attack. We have Snow Leaf Badge. Or they play Tool Scrapper. Rip my boy. I probably could have benched that. Should play Bird Keeper in here, maybe. He has a literal Ice Cube on his head. Yeah, it's Ice Cube, bro. We'll call it Ice Cube. You play Pokemon Unite? Not really. Yo, think of the fall there. Messy. Messy Haas. Oh, no. Haas is in the name. That's not good, chat. We need to get a switch. Or scoop up net. And fast. Net's in there. Our ice cube. No, it might be in trouble, bro. Haas ban time, bro. The name scares me. Yo, we got the scoop of net. Let's go. Spread the energy out. Block face. Now, do we just win here? Are we about to see a win chat? Have you done a dream ball deck yet? I have not. I don't think there's a way to play dream ball, bro. <laughs> mod check. I may yo, I think we need to get more mods in here though, to be honest. You might it might be time to add another mod to the chat. Peonia? Yeah, but like Dream Ball is just not a good card. You do literally rather play Quick Ball and stuff. Dream Ball, that Dream Ball energy, Dream Ball. You yeah, you I guess Dream Ball Peonia. I don't know. Dream Ball is just terrible though. There's no way that's good. Do they have any way to attack me? They have to play a Phoebe, right? We have another SQ waiting in the woodworks. Sounds broken, I don't know. It might be. A better TTV emotes? I thought I had... I thought... No, I don't I have better TTV? Hold on. Let me see something. I guess I don't have better... Yo, I thought I did, though. What the heck? I thought I did. Oh, you know what, chat? I just realized. We actually don't want to play Twin Energy because of Assault Tackle. Yeah, I just realized we should not play it because of Assault Tackle. You have to add them to your channel? Oh, I'll do that after then. 
Okay. Yeah, we're cutting the twin energy out of the deck. We actually can't use it because we need to do assault tackle. Yeah, they can just spam assault tackle. Yeah, we can't play it then. All right, that's fine. This unholy deck, SQ Glacion. And it's honestly not bad so far. Okay. I mean, it's all right. You know, it's... I mean, I think it, it reminds me a lot of the Desigoon deck. You know, it's kind of like Desigoon Part 2. We do lose to Zacian if they play V Unions, though. Or Duraludon V Max. Or Bronzong. If they play Bronzong, we can boss their Bronze Ore. Okay, we're definitely just going to go all in with the, uh, the Frost Moth. The Twin Energy doesn't cut it, I don't think. It's genius. This is better than the Obstruct deck we played, to be honest. My opponent's probably, like, sitting there like, bro. Honestly, we could play five stadiums because then we can just like do we can win a lot quicker if we don't if they don't have crystal cave. Do we have energy in the discard? We don't. All right. Just keep clicking block face, baby. The Zacian deck just can't do anything, bro. I don't think they have a way to do it. Yeah, I know King Cat. I played it anyways just to have it in play, but I actually think we shouldn't play the twin energy with the S the ice Q is because they just assault tackle the energy off. You should play three ice cues to be honest. Just keep holding it, just keep attacking, you know. I'd rather kill the Zacian over the Zam. It is Tim. This is actually kind of nuts. I like this actually quite a bit. This deck's actually pretty decent. Even though, mind you, it's our first game and we happen to hit our best matchup, which you know what? I was complaining earlier about the bad matchups, but I guess I gotta stop complaining. We just hit our very best matchup here. The next broken deck? Yo, it might be, bro. I got I'm gonna do a video on this deck for sure. It's like, bro, look at this. We're just auto-winning. The video- Okay, if you're watching this game on YouTube, then I'm not gonna play Twin Energy in my deck because I just realized Twin is bad because it actually gets discarded with Assault Tackle. Don't scoop up. Maybe they have something. They can keep doing boss. We're just not gonna bench anything. They could play Rocky Helmet. Then we play Tool Jammer, bro. I th is there any tool you guys think we could play with Ice Q? I'm going to hold the hand and just knock him out. And before they play Quad Equine Horn and they can keep bossing me. Is there any other tool we could play with Ice Q? Like Paracel? I thought about that, yeah. If you're playing against Dragapult, Dragapult's already a bad matchup for Glaceon anyways, though. Because they have Path the Peak plus Shred. Dracazole VMAX. We just put Glaci we just put uh Gla Glaceon. You should play Kabu in here. Honestly, I might up the Snorlax count. Okay, we could probably cut the lucky ice pops, to be honest. I don't know. They're kind of cool. Ice pop Glaceon might not be a bad combo. Struggle gloves, maybe. Where's your credit cool? Bro, credit right here, bro. I mean, if this goes into my YouTube video, there you go, bro. The, the whole chat gets to see it, bro. Everybody who watches this video, if it gets 7,000 views, bro, all those people, they're going to see that cool came up with the idea for this deck. I wish Pokemon would have more board control cards. Yeah. Rip Lost Zone. Lost Zone's irrelevant now because of Prism Stars rotating. That's true, Mega. Yeah. Tool Jammer could be good. The only way to lose, I think, is if we click Icy Snow by accident. It's mine? It's my idea, bro. It's my idea. No. <laughs> it's no one's ideas, bro. It's it's the chat's idea. It's the community's idea. It's everybody's idea. Yo, the Ice Q sweep. Bro, it's everyone's idea. It's the community's idea, bro. It's everybody's idea. It's all of our ideas, bro. All of our ideas. Yeah, plug the Twitter, Keck W. While, while you're on the stand, do you have anything to say? We need to find that training court. They just scoop. Let's go. All right, this could actually be cracked. This could actually be 